y'all to Little Bayou Homestead. We're gonna make some cantaloupe jelly again today. Everybody's been requesting for this video. So I'm gonna make it today. And later on, my friend Robin will be over and we're gonna make some pepper jelly. So my two granddaughters are outside with their grandfather. Let's see what they're doing. So what are y'all doing? Y'all helping Papa? Are you helping Papa? What are y'all doing? Oh, y'all putting rocks down. Are you helping him? Are you helping him? Are y'all helping him? Oh, you need a little shovel. Uh, we'll have to find y'all one. Yep, unloading rocks, which is a good thing. Doesn't that hurt you guys' feet? Can y'all wave at everybody? <laughs> okay. What is our little babies doing over here, y'all? Yeah, we got them in a little temporary pen. Yeah, they, they're all pecking around, aren't they? They're pecking the bugs and the food. Yeah, and all the other ones are outside somewhere. Mama, wait. Yeah, babe. I wish I can hold the babies. Well, we'll let you hold them soon, okay? They're just little fellas now. All right, well, y'all go help Papa. And I'm going to go inside and start this uh, cantaloupe jelly. Okay, I've already taken my cantaloupe out. I actually did two of them because I want a double batch of this jelly. Because it is time consuming to uh, get the juices out. But it's really worth the time. So, that being said, here I have two really ripe cantaloupes. I uh, got all the juice off of them. And now we're going to see, that's with my grandchildren in the back again. <laughs> I've got two granddaughters here that are playing together. But over here, we're going to put nine and a half or nine cups of sugar in this double batch recipe and i'm going to put four of the sure gel the pectin this is just a particular brand that i care to use and i've used for years but you can use any pectin that you would like they will all surely work so that being said let me get the sugar in here in my pot and get it going and we'll be back to see that. Okay, we've got our sugar in there. And I actually put nine, instead of nine and a half cups of sugar, just to break the sugar down a little bit. But it's still going to gel, for sure. And it's going to be sweet enough. So, you want to stir this and get all your sugar and all of your fruit juice, which is cantaloupe juice, incorporated. And let me get my lemon juice out because I have failed to show you guys that. And that's going to be uh, a fourth and a fourth. So I'll be right back. Let me get that. Okay, let me add my fourth. And I'm going to get another fourth, guys. You can use any brand of lemon juice that you prefer if it's your fresh squeezed or any kind of brand that you would like to buy but let me say that too um, all lemon juice are not going to be the same so it's just best to go ahead and try to get your bottle because you know the acidity level is going to be working right with your your foods that you're cooking. So we're going to get this all incorporated with my sugars and lemon juice and let it come to that constant boil. Just going to incorporate it all. So when we get it to a rolling boil, it's going to be 20 minutes of a rolling boil. And then we're gonna go to a minute extra and we're gonna 
we'll stir it again for another minute. So we'll be right back as soon as we can get that going. And as you can hear, my granddaughters are in the back. They're watching Charlotte's Web, so we're having a cute day all together. So we'll be back when this gets to a rolling boil. Okay. Hey, girl. <laughs> you want to come get on camera and say hello to Mr. YouTube? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my other grandchild. That's Layla. <laughs> can you wave? Say hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Go find Caroline. You guys go play with your Barbie dolls. So now that we have it going, we have our cantaloupe going with our sugar and our lemon juice. We've got our rims and our lids. We'll just warm stage. You do not want to boil those, y'all. Y'all just want to uh, just warm them, you know. We have our bottles washed and put in the hot bath. So yeah, we're just waiting. We're waiting on that full boil to come on. And then we can start counting our 20 minutes. So we're just gonna stir and not turn our heat up too high because we don't wanna burn our product. We do not because it costs lots of money to make these jams and jellies, right? Yeah. Guys, I'd appreciate it if y'all would uh, like and share and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us in ways you just wouldn't understand. We're raising two of our grandchildren, which I proudly, proudly would say we enjoy. And I wouldn't have it any other way. And this is why, not only just to share my recipes with everybody, I like for everyone to know too, that struggle is real out there for grandparents. It really is. So that being said, this was the main thing was for my grandchildren and their future. And for you guys, for you guys to see these recipes, some of these are older recipes that my grandmother, my mama had that she passed on down to me. And um, I wanna share that with everybody. And you know, she cooked soap and both my grandmothers did. And this is how I learned all the old ways. All of our old ways are, they're disappearing in this time and day. And hey, if you do not learn how to survive, it's gonna be a hard time, you know? It's gonna be a hard time for you. Guys, this boil is starting, so this is making me happy to see it. So, here it is. Yep, here it comes. See, it's starting your film. Remember, you can always take this off in the pot at the end. Or you can do it during it, but it's going to make more. So, you know, I would actually particularly wait to at your end. Let's push our bottles back our lid back on there and always whenever you get ready to open up your water bath your hot water bath open it up from the back side like that so you don't get a very hot scalding facial that you don't particularly want so yeah we're getting to that boil on us so yeah we'll be back when that boil starts and just to show you guys, I am a soap maker. I have made soap for years. That's just my labeling because I haven't got them really assorted. This is just a slim supply that I have because I sell a lot of my soaps. And just a few, few of the canning stuff that I do. But yeah, this is actually my supply shelf here. This is, my, I guess you could say this is my corner. <laughs> uh, besides this kitchen. This kitchen is actually my space that I actually enjoy. So guys, we are still waiting. I don't want to turn. I'm going to tell y'all to turn that up to a medium, to a medium high almost. Because you don't want to scorch your product. 
You do not want to do that. So, okay, guys, we'll be back. I keep saying we'll be back, but we got to be patient to get this boil going on. And I'm, I'm trying to cut back on my uh, video time, which I'm still green under the gills with this, y'all. I don't know exactly how to do the everything in YouTube editing world, so I'm still a learner. I'm still learning. So you can take some of that skim off as you go. Like I said, you can wait. It's better to wait during the end, though, because your product is going to be more jelly. So we're going to go ahead and put our sure gel in there. And, guys, that is going to be, I'm going to say, three and a half boxes. I'm going to cut it to three and a half boxes of sure gel, okay? And this is my sure gel. If I'm sure... Everybody knows what sure gel is. It's pectin. Okay? All right. When I get that in, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We are getting that bowl coming on on this pot. Like I said, it's not a fast process in cooking this jelly. Or any jelly. <laughs> you don't want to scorch your juice. Okay? You don't want to scorch your juice. So... Our full boil is just about to happen, so there it comes. And like I said, I have this on like a medium to a medium high, somewhere in between. And a full boil is when you take your spoon and run through it, and you can't break that boil, okay? And you're going to want to cook that for 20 minutes, like I said. And then turn your burner down. Turn your fire down. And then stir it another minute, okay? And then you're going to be ready to get your bottles out of your hot bath. And then we're going to be ready to get, them, get the juice and the jelly in the jar. Look at that. Y'all, it smells so good in here. Look at that. <laughs> if y'all could only smell through that camera, look at there. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this forward here. Okay. This is what your full boil looks like. Okay. And when I stir... You're going to not see me break that boil. See? This is a 20-minute process that you're going to have to do, y'all. Just stir it for 20 minutes on a medium to a medium-high heat for 20 minutes. And then we're going to just turn, just turn your burner off, okay? And then we're going to stir that extra minute. So, we'll be back as soon as that 20 minute time is up. And then we're going to get our jars out of here. And we're going to get them set up and get ready to funnel them up. Okay. Okay. Our 20 minutes is up. And our one minute is up for our slow cook on the one minute. So, we are ready to bottle up our jelly so when you take your bottles out of this hot bath right here you make sure you check every rim with your finger okay because if you get a crack or any kind of chip or any of that you don't want to use that bottle you want to discard that bottle okay just throw it away it's no good for nothing so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this ladled up. I don't know how I'm doing these in quart jars because I have like one quart jar left of this. And I only made a single batch last time. So, I'm, I'm doing a double batch. Guys, y'all can cut this in half, this recipe, because you don't have to do as much as me. And you can do a half inch from the top. That'll be fine. Okay, half inch, which would be right here. 
okay? Maybe a little bit below is what I put it, that first little ring from the top, okay? Guys, these are hot jars. I'm just actually used to touching them. And then we're gonna put these bottles back into our hot bath for 15 minutes. And let me tell y'all this, I didn't feel a little secure about that three and a half of the pectin. So I did put the rest of the half into my uh, recipe. You hot out there, Cap? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna put the rest of this in our bottles and we'll be back. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about with the uh, film that you can just gather up. It just more or less combines together. I didn't have enough for my sixth jar, and these are pint size. Pint size. But you could just skim that off. It's more, more or less for presentation of your jars, which that will go in my refrigerator, so that's not gonna be a real big deal to me at all. Okay? Now, we're gonna take our paper towel. This is white vinegar, clear white vinegar here in here I use a paper towel you can use a cloth whatever you prefer and just wipe the rim I even wipe my rim I'm just funny like that I like to wipe all my rims down my grandson left and went off with his uncle and came back with that what a surprise wasn't that sweet that uh, just a very sweet gesture out of a seven-year-old child but yep Y'all, these jars are extremely hot. It's like I said, I, I am really used to doing this. So, you know, you sort of deal with it when you go. But, yep, I, whoops, that got into my, my jelly, so I'll discard that one. Get a fresh one and start all over. Get it good and clean. Okay, this one has just a little bit that I want to get off of that top. People ask me, well, why do you use the lemon juice? Well, I use it, and many other canners do, because the acidity in some fruits is just not, you know, there. So you have to add the acidity to that jelly. So that's why you have to use the lemon juice, okay? to put that acidity into your, I don't know why I put, keep putting it in there, into your uh, jar of fruit here. But just clean it off well. Yeah, I know my video is running a little long too, but I guess that's what happens <laughs> when you got grandchildren coming in and talking to you. Okay. Now, we just put our lids on here, y'all. Our lids and our rings, which is in here. You don't want that boiling, okay? You just want it warm. And I have this handy dandy, it's a magnet on it. As you can see, it's a magnet. Hey, Mama. Hey, Shane. I really wanna go um, swimming. Do you? You want to say hey to YouTube? Let me turn. <laughs> okay. That's the little boy that bought me my cute little bracelet. I love you. Love you. All right. Okay. Just put the, um, uh, you can go swimming, man. The pool's full. Your, your well, pool's full. No, I, I, okay. Okay. Well, we'll talk about it later, okay? Let me get the video done. And then we just screw it up. Look, you want a hand finger tight this, you do not want to come down on that jar, tighten it up, because you got to have enough of room in there for that to seal together, okay? Okay, we're gonna get these done, and we'll be back. Okay, we are ready for our hot bath. 
for these to go back in 15 minutes y'all and you need about an inch overhead of water over your lids but yeah we just want to stick them in there for 15 minutes and this is a rolling boil your water okay a rolling boil then you want to take them out and put them in a space that they can get air circulation around them so now there they are little five <laughs> that's what i got out of uh two cantaloupes okay and we're gonna let them boil for 15 minutes and we'll be back after that okay See you then. We're gonna slow it down because guys like. <laughs> uh oh, you're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> that is a homemade swing there, out of a huge tire, wrapped around that limb up there. <laughs> she liked your hairstyle, she said. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Gotta go check my bottles now, y'all. Okay, y'all. It's been 15 minutes since they've been in the hot bath. So, this is what I'm talking about. Do open it from the back end. You do not want that in your face. Okay? And we're gonna just take them out and give them adequate room to cool down. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is absolutely a pretty, pretty color. And we're just gonna set them over here and let them all cool down. That is really a pretty color. Look at that, y'all. That is pretty. I've made a batch of these before, and so like I said, they don't last around here. So that's why I'm putting them in the pint size jars. And that's the last one. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. So I hope this has been informative. And I hope this helps y'all with your recipe. And comment and let me know how you guys like it. Because we really, really, really love this recipe. And it turns out great every time. I just made a double batch of it. This is what I got out of a double batch. So, well, including almost a six jar. And that's what I had left out of a six jar. So I'll put that in the refrigerator later when it cools down and we'll go ahead and eat that but guys i would appreciate it and i thank y'all for joining me with this recipe and like i would really like y'all to like and subscribe and ding that little bell so every time i upload a video you guys will get a notification so we'll see you next time keep canning and keep eating good bye bye